is NJN News with Kent Manahan, Steve Highsmith, and Pat Scanlon with Sport. Good in September. Larry Stupnagel, NJN News, the State House. Glassboro State College is getting a record donation and a new name. Margie Smith reports the financially strapped South Jersey School is the recipient of the largest gift ever to a public college in the U.S. This is the man giving Glassboro State College $100 million of his money and his name. School officials asked South Jersey entrepreneur Henry Rowan for a modest donation. Rowan said he'd give a large one if it were used to build an engineering school. There's a need here. There are many engineering schools in the uh, country already developed, and I'm kind of thrilled with the idea of developing engineering education here in South Jersey. The 68-year-old Rowan is a graduate of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, but he grew up in worked all his life in New Jersey. Rowan is chairman and CEO of Rancocas-based Inductotherm Industries, which makes industrial furnaces. His endowment also establishes a scholarship fund so children of Inductotherm employees can attend the college for free. Money left over will be used for other special projects, but cannot be used to plug budget gaps brought on by cuts in state funding. The financially strapped college last year announced that some degree programs would be eliminated. School officials say today's gift won't change that. As for the name change, Glassboro President Dr. Herman James says a mere thank you for the donation didn't seem adequate. When he said he would give us $100 million, we said we will change the name and institution uh, for you. The gift is believed to be the largest donation ever given to a public college in the United States. Today, Rowan jokingly admitted parting with all that money takes some getting used to. I think six months ago I decided something I wanted to do, and getting used to the idea takes at least six months. <laughs> It could take a couple years for the School of Engineering to get off the ground, but the name change should come more quickly. Glassboro State College could officially be the Rowan College of New Jersey by the time students return to classes in the fall. Margie Smith, NJN News, Glassboro. And joining us now, Henry Rowan, chairman and founder of Inductotherm Industries Incorporated. Good evening, Mr. Rowan. Raising money in these tough economic times is difficult. A hundred million dollars is better than winning the New Jersey and Pennsylvania lotteries combined. Why did you choose Glassboro State? Well, I'm not sure I chose Glassboro State so much as they chose me. Okay. Uh, they first approached me, uh, Phil Kaminia, uh, Vice President of Development there, uh, first contacted me with regard to a uh, school of business or, or contributing to the school of business that already exists. And that didn't have near the appeal to me of, of forming and founding a school of engineering there at Glassboro. So, uh, in essence, they chose me rather than my choosing them. Well, in doing so, um, was there a stipulation in your gift, that being perhaps the renaming of the college in your honor? Uh, that came up as we talked of a larger gift, the School of Engineering, and uh, they did suggest uh, as an inducement that that... Uh, uh, might be possible. But I think the real interest is in getting a school of engineering here in South Jersey at a school of the Glassboro caliber where there has not been uh, the engineering education. How do you feel about having a school named in your honor then? What does that feel like? Uh, that, uh, that is a true honor and I, I am delighted of course. Well, you want Glassboro to establish an engineering school. What advice are you offering to the school in order to accomplish that? Well, I'm not sure I'm qualified to offer advice in uh, developing an educational program. Uh, I certainly uh, uh, have suggested that it not be another uh, Me Too school, but rather be a first-class, tough school of engineering where they can turn out some uh, really first-class technical students. Well, you must have given the school some indication of, of what you would like to see done in order to accomplish that. Uh, the, the only thing I had required or requested was that it be a broad uh, spectrum curriculum, not just a school of uh, uh, one type of engineering, but all of the different types of engineering uh, with enough uh, background in each so that the students, graduating students, uh, can go on to get their professional uh, engineering licenses in the state of New Jersey. What a lot of people would like to know, Mr. Rowan, what goes into making a decision to donate this kind of money to an institution? Certainly it isn't an overnight decision. 
Well, first of all, a lot of time because uh, it's not an overnight decision. You're, you're right. Um, I think a recognition that uh, education is pretty important and that by controlling what happens to the funds we have uh, created during our lifetime uh, is better controlled by us while we're living than uh, left to uh, the federal government in tax form uh, when we're no longer here. All right. Well, Henry Rowan, thank you very much for being our guest this evening. Enjoyed it. Thank you. Atlantic Company. This is NJN News with Kent Manahan, Steve Highsmith, and Pat Scanlon with Sports. Good evening. It's done wonders for sweatshirt sales at the bookstore, but the idea is not wearing well with everyone, as Deborah Zara reports. These students are taking their formal class portrait in front of Glassboro State College, perhaps for the last time. Yesterday, the school's board of trustees voted to change the school's name to Rowan College of New Jersey in honor of the man who donated $100 million to the school. And with that kind of dough, there will be a lot more changes here than just a name. There will be a school of engineering. There also, uh, the, the donor has asked that there be a scholarship program for the children of his employees. At the school's bookstore today, students were buying mugs, t-shirts, and just about anything else with the glass barrel name attached to it. I always thought my kids would go to GSC. Now they'll go to what? I guess they'll go to Rowan or someplace else. <laughs> Amidst the buying frenzy, some mixed reviews over the name change. I was very disappointed and very shocked. A lot of students are really upset. And it's just we've been here for so long, and to get used to Rowan all of a sudden is not something we're looking forward to. I greatly support it because I feel that it will do a lot to increase the prestige of the school. I'm very excited about it. The name still needs final approval from the State Board of Higher Education, but in an effort to block that, the town council will introduce a referendum next week to keep Glassboro in the name. Glassboro stands in good company should its name be changed. After all, Duke was formerly Trinity College, Brown was the University of Rhode Island, and the collegiate school back in 1716 was changed to Yale after a beneficiary. Now that we got all this money and we are changing the name, the whole country will know that we are a great school and it doesn't matter if it's Glassboro or Rowan, the people are the same. Deborah Zara, NJN News, Glassboro. Happening, call the NJN News tip line at 1-800-JERSEY-1. That's 1-800-537-7391. David Rogers weather and Yuki Washington on sports. And now, Newsbeat. Good evening, I'm Bruce Hamilton. Jennifer Ward has the night off. What's in the name? Well, $100 million in this case. Glassboro State's changing its name to Rowan College of New Jersey. Burlington County industrialist Harry Rowan donated $100 million to the school. In his honor, its name's being changed. The 100 mil will be used to create a school of engineering. The grant will also allow children of Glassboro State employees to attend the college for free. The gift, by the way, is one of the largest ever received by a college. Action News, Delaware Valley's leading news program with Scott Palmer, Dave Roberts, Lisa Thomas-Laurie, and Mark Howard. Good evening. Some historic changes are on their way to Glassboro State College in South Jersey thanks to a multi-million dollar gift from a local businessman and his wife. New Jersey correspondent Kathy Gandolfo has the story. Well, Glassboro State I College has received a $100 million gift from Henry and Betty Rowan, the largest grant ever to an American college. Mr. Rowan, the founder and CEO of Rancocas-based Inductotherm, has just two stipulations. First, that a scholarship be set up for the children of his 4,000 employees, and second, that an engineering school be started at Glassboro. I think the availability of uh, technically educated people is very important to companies such as ours. Uh, and any company carrying on business in New Jersey. We all know that high-tech and, and high-value really is
is going to be the key to being able to be productive and to be competitive. So here it is, we have a very important step. Glassboro's president says the money will also fund an endowment. We will have a substantial a part of the gift left to enhance the rest of the campus programmatically as well as some of our facilities. It will take four years to get the engineering school up and running, but other changes could come much sooner. As a result of the $100 million gift, college officials are taking steps to change the name of this 69-year-old facility from Glassboro State to the Rowan College of New Jersey. And with approval from the Board of Trustees, the name change could be effective September 1st. That idea is getting mixed reviews. After all, the school's name is well known. It was even the setting for the 1967 summit between Lyndon Johnson and Alexei Kosygin. It's already got a, a, re a reputation established, and I'm just wondering, you know, is that going to make any difference? Because, like, nobody's ever heard of whatever this guy's name is, school. The students will be benefiting greatly from the donation, so I think that the name that's on their degree won't necessarily have a lot to do with it. Some I spoke with say for a $100 million gift, the name change is appropriate. I'm Kathy Gandolfo, Channel 6 Action News, Glassboro, New Jersey. And a new name to boot. Henry and Betty Rowan have given the school $100 million, the biggest college grant ever. In exchange, the school will add an engineering school to the campus, scholarships for the children of the Rowan's employees, and the college will change its name to Rowan College of New Jersey. The Rowan's own inductotherm industries of Rancocas, a firm that makes furnaces for melting various metals. Their 4,000 employees will get scholarships for their children as part of the endowment. They are calling it an historic occasion in the history of higher education in New Jersey. Glassboro State College is changing its name because of a huge contribution. The college will be named for Henry Rowan, an industrialist who is giving the school $100 million. Rowan appeared today with Governor Florio and Bunce Hall on the Glassboro campus. And so pending approval of the Board of Trustees, the name of the school will become Rowan College of New Jersey on September 1st. Much of Rowan's money will be used to establish the first engineering school in all of South Jersey. And it seemed to be an institution that was bent on progress and excellence and a place where uh, engineering could make a great contribution to South Jersey. Governor Florio called Rowan's contribution a huge down payment on New Jersey's high-tech future. The $100 million gift is the largest private donation to a public college or university in the history of American higher education. Dial 966-6666 or call our regional news bureaus. See, this is World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. Sitting in tonight, Carol Simpson. Good evening. Nine points today to close at 3339. The trading was heavy. Talking about money, the largest gift ever made to a public college or university. Industrialist Henry Rowan and his wife have given $100 million to Glasboro State College in New Jersey. School officials say they will change its name to Rowan College. $100 million gift, the name change is a It's changing its name. I went to the South Jersey school today to hear about the changes. At a news conference on the campus, Henry and Betty Rowan announced their gift of $100 million to the school. It's the largest gift ever made to a public university or college, and the money will be used to establish a school of communication and a school of engineering. I think uh, that what we're doing is putting back into society a little bit of what society has given us. Rowan is the founder and owner of Inductotherm, now a half a billion dollar a year business. He credits his employees with making his company a success, so some of the money will go to scholarships for the children of Inductotherm employees. The Rowans have a history of giving. They built these headquarters for the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts of Burlington County. And now it's Glassboro's turn. It's going to be a transformation of this institution. I think it's not going to be fully felt till about 10, 15, 20 years out. One change will happen very soon, a name change. Glassboro State College will be no more. By September 1st, this is going to be Rowan College of New Jersey. Glassboro opened in 1923 as a teacher's college. It's undergone many changes since then, and most students are looking forward to this latest development. And I think it'll put Glassboro on the map of not just the United um, New Jersey, but as the United States also, give it more clout. At first it was a little disappointing, but I think it's going to be great. Everybody will be really excited to come to a new name and a new school with a new feeling. 
Now, Glassboro has just suffered through some budget cutbacks because of the state's financial situation. And although the grant will not be used for operating expenses, it does mean the school will be able to expand. Governor Florio says he hopes there'll be many more <coughs> million dollar gifts. That's going to mean a renaming of the school. In the fall, Glassboro State becomes Rowan College of New Jersey after Henry Rowan. His gift is the second largest ever to an American university. This evening made it official when it voted unanimously to change the name of the 69-year-old college. After the vote, some students couldn't prevent a show of emotion, upset with a dramatic change in their school. Of course, this is happening because of this man, Henry Rowan. He is giving the school $100 million over 10 years, primarily to establish an engineering school. At the bookstore today, students were buying up anything with the name Glassboro on it. Many of them both sad and resentful that their school will be renamed after a contributor. Of course, this is hardly the first time this kind of thing has happened. We wonder how students at Trinity College felt in 1924 when their school became Duke University. And what about the horror in 1804 when the College of Rhode Island threw away its principles to change its name to Brown? And can you imagine the chagrin in 1716 when the Collegiate School in Connecticut changed its name in tribute to a benefactor by the name of Yale? Maybe a hundred or so years from now, the students at Rowan College of New Jersey... Name. Uh, we just don't count. Our annual contributions to the Alumni Association apparently don't count. Any special fundraisers apparently don't count. We just don't count. Question. What if a wealthy industrialist supplies a small state college with $100 million? The answer? The Board of Trustees names the college after him, despite the demands from some students and alumni. Now you're asking me to shred these up. Please don't do that. If you're taking notes, Henry Rowan is the man who donated the money on Monday. That what we're doing is putting back into society a little bit of what society has given us. The trustees said naming the school after him was not part of the deal, that Rowan didn't ask for this honor, so why do it? A man gave a hundred million dollars. I think that's important. Now there's a run on Glassboro State stuff at the student store. My degree says Glassboro State College, and it's not going to exist anymore. And um, I just wanted something to remember it by. September 1st, that's when the signs at Glassboro State will officially change over. Those who are looking forward to it say it's a step into the future, but those who are opposed say this is now another sign that money can buy you anything. At the Rowan College of New Jersey, Andrew Glassman, Channel 10 News. Glassboro State College got a boost with a $100 million private donation. The contribution from New Jersey businessman Henry Rowan is the second largest education donation in the United States. Parts of the funds will be used to create an engineering school, and in honor of the benefactor, the institution will be renamed Rowan College of New Jersey.